What's up, everybody? This is Peyton Anderson with Next Level Athletes. I am thrilled to have Nate Jenkins on the podcast today. Nate's coming off this past season for Green Bay, where he appeared in 23 games while averaging 6.4 points per game. In addition to this, he had a career-high 19 against Cleveland State. Uh, Nate, first of all, thanks so much for coming on. Yeah, thank you for having me. Of course. Um, take me back through your recruitment process. First of all, what ultimately led you originally to Iowa State? Um, I mean... For me, I wasn't really recruited too much out of high school. Um, and then I was fortunate enough to be able to walk on at Iowa State and then given a chance there. Uh, so, I mean, that's really as much as my recruitment mm -hmm. went. Uh, and with that being said, what ultimately led to your decision to transfer uh, from Iowa State to Green Bay? Um, I kind of wanted to play a little more, you know, yeah. kind of get into the game, get into the action a little more. And then we had a coaching change. Uh, then it's just the right timing. Mm -hmm. And I'm um, going back to your high school days. You prepped at Kettle Moraine High School, where you averaged 17.8 points per game, 5.1 rebounds, three assists, 1.7 steals as a senior. In addition to this, you earned first team all conference honors, all area and all suburban team honors, as well as playing AAU for the Wisconsin Playground Warriors. Uh, with that being said, uh, what would you say you miss most about high school in general, but also your, also your favorite memory all time? Um, probably the most is just like my teammates and then we were, we were pretty good in high school. So that was also fun and enjoyable. The game was a lot easier back then too. Uh, and then probably my most memorable moment was, uh, us winning conference and then going to the sectional final, uh, my junior year. Mm -hmm. And, um, since you started out first at Iowa state before transferring over to green Bay, uh, take me through your first ex expectations and thoughts when you first arrived in campus, started practicing and getting to the swing of things. Uh, you know, obviously, you know, transferring, you you want to transfer to a better situation and you want to, you know, play right away and everything like that. Uh, so, I mean, I guess obviously hoping to transfer, I hope that was like what I wanted to do right away, you know, make an impact. Uh, but just getting to campus and, and meeting the guys was, was great. And then, you know, feeling my role for the first half of the season and then being able to get a bigger opportunity towards the second half. That was just all part of the process. Of course. And um, what would you say has been the biggest uh, difference between Iowa State and playing in the Big 12 compared to Green Bay and playing in the Horizon League? Uh, probably like the height. There's a lot, a lot more height in the Big 12 than there is in the Horizon League. Uh, and then just there's a lot more athletes in, in the Big 12 than there's in the Horizon League as well. Mm -hmm. And while uh, on this topic, going into college out of high school, what would you say you found most difficult between the two levels in general? But was there anything that came easier to you than you originally expected? Uh, definitely at first, right out of high school, the first thing that kind of stood out to me was like the speed of the game. Uh, it was a lot, lot quicker. I had, to, I had to think a lot faster. And then it was a lot more physical than it was in high school. Uh, but something that, you know, I kind of hang my hat on is defensively. And, like, I think I was able to stand out a little more defensively, like my freshman mm -hmm. and sophomore year. Uh, and that was something that kind of translated. Of course. And um, when talking about, you know, recruitment and every, NAL deals, everything in between, looking at both sides for people who are heavily recruited and others uh, such as yourself who are not as heavily recruited, um, what kind of advice do you have to athletes on – well, more so speaking to your individual process, not being heavily recruited and not getting discouraged right. and just kind of keeping their focus on the game and, and just not giving up. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely, you know, it's hard at times, but uh, you just have to keep trusting yourself, you know, keep trusting your work, keep working hard. You know, you can't you can't take a day off when, you know, you're not heavily recruited or anything like that. So you just mm -hmm. have to keep that mentality, keep that chip on your shoulder and just keep working. That's really it. Mm -hmm. And um, when tr transitioning to life off the court, uh, what's a typical day look like for you uh, during the season and off season? Yeah, I mean, off the court, you know, during the season, it's just schoolwork, you know, rest, watch other college basketball games that are on. And then right now it's, you know, more of the same stuff. I have a little more free time since it's not in season or anything like that. It's just, you know, trying to get individual workouts in, still resting, recovering, of course, watching the playoffs, the NBA playoffs right yeah, now. Yeah, of course, yeah. Then, you know, just, just hanging out with my friends, family. That's really it. Of course. And uh, additionally, talk to us about your major. What is it about, the kinds of classes you're taking for it, but more importantly, uh, why you chose it in the first place? 
Uh, I'm currently majoring in business management and marketing. Uh, I just feel like for me personally, I feel like that's one of the most open majors. I feel like you can do a lot with a business degree where like any, any career path you choose, you can do a lot with that. Um, and then like typical classes I take, uh, there's a lot of like, right now I have like international business management, business, business uh, ethics, classes like that. Mm -hmm. And um, looking more in depth with your production this past season, you saw increased playing time, appearances, games, as well as points per game, along with practically the whole box sheet. Uh, what would you say went well for you this past season, but also what you say, what you say you've been working on improving the most since you got to college and this current off season in terms of your overall game and skill set? Yeah, uh, I mean, definitely continue to just to work on, you know, shooting. That's a big thing for me and our, our team, especially just being able to knock down shots, stuff like that. Uh, and then also just making the right reads, whether I'm coming off a ball screen or attacking downhill. Uh, that's probably like the biggest things I'm, I'm working on right now, <clears throat> just making the right reads and then being able to knock down shots when we have them. Mm -hmm. And um, mentioning again that you used to go to Iowa State before Green Bay, what did you say you learned most about being in the Iowa State program that you translated over to Green Bay in this program? Uh, with that being like my first school, uh, I think I learned a lot about, like I, I learned a lot more about like college basketball and basketball as a whole. Mm -hmm. Like in high school, it's not as serious or it's not as systematic as, you know, it is in college. But I just learned about like making the right reads, what a read, like what reads are, you know, lifting off ball screens, stuff like that. Just just playing the right the game the right way at a higher level. And I, obviously that translates perfectly over here in Green Bay. Mm -hmm. And uh, while on that topic, um, what do you feel Green Bay uh, prioritizes or is able to provide to their athletes that may be different than other schools? What makes them unique? Uh, what I think is like kind of cool about Green Bay is like we all we have like a like one rec center, like one gym, and that's where all the athletes are, and like that's where the training room is. So it's kind of cool to have that interaction with the athletes from other sports too on a daily basis. Whereas at other schools, I don't know if it's the same as that, but that's mm -hmm. something that stands out for sure. And um, last question about that. Um, if you were to describe Green Bay in this program with one word or one sentence, uh, what would it be? Um, definitely, I'd, I'd say deliberate. I like that word a lot. I like that word to describe the way we play. And then mm -hmm. just we just make the right we, reads. We play basketball the right way. And I just think that's a good way to describe how we play basketball. Of course. And um, with everyone in life, they always have their biggest supporters, the people that mean the most to them in life. So for you personally, who has that been for you in your life? And if they were to be listening, uh, what would you have to share with them? Uh, definitely be my parents. You know, they supported me throughout my whole life, my mom, my dad, and also my sister as well. Uh, and I just, you know, can't thank them enough for supporting me and, and being on this journey with me. And I just hope I can, you know, show them my gratitude enough. So, so I just can't say thank you enough to them. Mm -hmm. And um, in the grand scheme of things, uh, what are you most looking forward to with your time left in college and at Green Bay, whether that be on the court or off the court? Uh, I say definitely, you know, getting Green Bay back on the right track. I feel like this upcoming year we have a great opportunity to really perform well and, and win a lot of games and then just keep building, you know, meaningful relationships in the community around here. Mm hmm. And um, additionally, uh, what would you say you most want others to remember you for when your collegiate career comes to an end, whether that be also uh, what you're able to accomplish on the court, what you were like on the court, but even maybe what you were like as an individual off the court and how you presented yourself or even both? Uh, I mean, I think the biggest thing I'd want people to remember me as just like a, a good person, you know, a good teammate, uh, a leader as well, you know, someone who represented the right things. And I think if people remember me as that at the end of the day, then I, I'm, I'm happy with the way things went. Of course. And um, last question, uh, what might be next for you and your future after college? Uh, you know, just see maybe maybe the ball keeps bouncing. Otherwise, uh, get into get into the business world. I hope one day I can start my own business. I'm not exactly sure. 
mm-hmm. what type of business I want to start, but I feel like that's that's a goal of mine eventually. Uh, so something like that for sure. Of course. Um, once again, Nate Jenkins, Green Bay Phoenix guard. Uh, Nate, really appreciate you taking the time today and wish you nothing but the best with your future, man. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much.